Hello guys and girls, welcome back to the Racing Line for another circuit guide here on iRacing. This is week 5 of Season 4 2022 in the GT4 Fix Challenge. Once again with me driving the Aston Martin Vantage GT4. This week's circuit is the new circuit, Osterleben GP. And the date and time is set to the 15th of October 2022 at 10.15 in the morning to match the official race time sent out in the Season 4 PDF. Same format as before, a breakdown lap followed by a full speed uninterrupted lap followed by an offboard lap. And as usual, this is filmed before the week has begun, so it's difficult to compare lap times. But let's see if we can help you guys find some time around this quite fun and brand new circuit here on iRacing. So here we are then on the main straight. We want to be on the right-hand side, ready for the fast left-hander of turn one. Our first braking zone is the orange marshal post on the right-hand side. We're going to give a quick dab of the brakes from fifth down into fourth. We'll do this whole thing in slow motion. Head towards the apex, down in fourth. Quick stab of the throttle, and then as the tarmac changes color, if you want to start turning to the right, hold it tight to the right-hand side curve, but you need to brake and downshift into third at that point when the tarmac changes color. It's important to then start putting the throttle on early, but be careful of the rear end. You can see we're feathering all the way through here, holding it tight to that right hand side curve, big snap of oversteer on the exit, so be careful of that, you need to be nice and smooth on that throttle. Back over to the right hand side, ready for our next braking zone under the gantry lights just up ahead. We're going to brake just before we go under them, hard on the brakes from 5th down to 3rd, hold it tight to the left hand side curve all the way around. The track is cambered in nicely, so you should be able to get on the throttle nice and easily and nice and fast, you don't really have to be smooth there. This next one's tricky. The braking zone is the last orange cone on the right, but we're gonna start turning in flat out, so it might go out of view. You need to kind of predict where it is, dab the brakes down to fourth, coast in, nice and patient on the throttle, because our main aim is to hit the apex curb on the left here. We're gonna start accelerating towards the apex curb and use that as our next braking point. Hard on the brakes, turn in right, down into third, holding it tight to this right-hand side curb, start accelerating, at the end of the red and white curve. You need to be full throttle from there. Up into fourth. We'll do this in slow motion because this bit's tricky but important. Flat out through the first one. Break after the second one from fourth. Keep it in fourth through here. Hit the apex on the right and start accelerating out. You need to be nice and smooth through there. It's so tricky to get right because you've got the grass on the outside. You can easily get a 1x through that section and it's important that you don't go down to third because you'll scrub off loads of speed. Next braking zone is in between the 100 meter board and the bridge up ahead. So halfway between those points, hard on the brakes from 5th down to 4th once again. Our main aim to be on the right hand side of the circuit on exit so that we can just lift off and open up this left hander straight back on the throttle after the lift. Get over to the left hand side and you'll see a dark patch of grass on the left. We're going to keep it in 4th, we're going to dab the brakes at that point, start turning in and carry the speed through. It's actually quite a fast corner there. Before we head to our final braking zone, just as we approach the pit lane line, you want to keep two wheels on the inside of that green triangle, hard on the brakes, down to third, hit the apex, and then accelerate out using all the curb on exit. Keep two wheels on the red and white stuff, and you won't get a 1x on the exit. It's also important you don't cross that green triangle, otherwise you'll get a 1x there as well. And that's a 130.0, all so close to the 129. Let's go full speed uninterrupted. Orange Marshall post on the right, dab the brakes down to fourth, hit the apex, accelerate, hard on the brakes again, down to third, hold it tight to the right hand side curve. You can drift out to the middle, that's fine, but smoothly apply the throttle all the way through the exit this corner, careful of the oversteer on the exit, up into fourth. Get over to the right hand side, just as we approach the lights, hard on the brakes, fifth, down to third, hold it tight to the curve and start accelerating from the midpoint. The track's cambered nicely, it will carry the car around, use the curb on the exit. Now, remember, flat out on turn in, but predict where the last cone is. Now, dab the brakes down to fourth, coasting in towards this apex, accelerating through now, aiming for the left-hand side, hold the brakes down to third, now hold it tight to the right, all the way around, feathering that throttle, 100% from now. All the way out on exit, careful of the rear end again, up into fourth. Flat out through this first apex, maybe a slight lift. Hard on the brakes after the next apex, keep it in fourth, hold it tight to the right, and then start accelerating smoothly out to the edge. Keep two wheels on that red and white curve, you won't get a 1x. Keep it on the left hand side in between the hundred and the bridge ready. There's the hundred now down on the brakes down to fourth Hold it to the right hand side here lift off towards the left apex and then start accelerating Keep two wheels on the red and white stuff get over to the left hand side dark patch of mud dab the brakes Keep it in fourth accelerate out quite a fast corner pit lane line hard on the brakes down to third Trail braking in smooth on the throttle here so that you don't lose the rear end up into fourth on the exit Use all the curb because you need to and there we go, across the line for a 130.0. And that is a lap of Oschersleben GP.
P or Oshislaban. However you want to pronounce it, I'm not too sure, to be honest. As usual, that is pretty much it from me. I'm going to leave you with this off-board lap. Don't forget to keep those likes and comments coming in, and be sure to watch this off-board lap as it gives you a good idea of track limits. This lap was valid and no 1Xs, but I'm pretty sure I was pretty close on some of these exits. Like I said, that's pretty much it from me. Don't forget to keep those comments, likes, subscribes coming in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. And if I don't see you on track this week, then I'll see you next week for the next video here on The Racing Line. Peace!